Oh, you're here to tell me that you don't want to be my best man? No, no, no. I agreed to stand up for you. Good. I just don't think it's safe to have a wedding right now. I, Brenda and I, we've discussed it. She wants to go through with it. I, you know, I, I'm not going to disappoint her. Okay, well, then it's up to me to change your mind. I'm not the one you have to convince. Bre you know, Brenda's stubborn. She she's always has been. Well, maybe someone needs to stand up to her then. Obviously, you don't know Brenda as well as you think you do. Look, I get where she's coming from. She wants this wedding, and she's going to get it. What's the difference if you wait another month or two? That's exactly what I told her. But you know what? What if we don't find the Balkan for two months, two years? There's been way too many delays over too many years. She wants this wedding, right? Really, really bad. She's going to get it. What if you wanted revenge on the person who killed your son? Wouldn't you wait for an opportunity like a wedding to do it? I get what you're saying, but that's why we're going to have extra help at the wedding. <laughs> We've been chasing the Balkan for months, and we, all we have is one wrong turn that, after another. Like I said, that's why we're going to have tight security. We're going we're gonna to lock it down like Fort Knox. Listen, Brent and I, we're going to get married on February 18th. That's what I promised her. Can help. Look, I just left Theo Hoffman. He was interviewing Brenda. She told him about killing Alexander. How, how the hell did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she got confused. The similarities between Banovic and Alexander. You were with her both times. Yeah, and every time she talks about the events that took place in Port Charles, the first killings come back to Well, if she talks about killing Alexander in court, then, then we could both be arrested. Well, Diane says Hoffman is the best, and he's there to protect you and Brenda both. Hey. Hey. You okay? Your lawyer came here, and I tried to reach you, but you didn't answer. Uh, okay. Did he, did he say something to upset you? We had a really weird conversation. He thought that I knew something that I didn't know. Well, what did he tell you? Honey, when you were guarding Brenna in Manhattan, she killed someone. And you covered it up. Brenna broke up with Alexander because she found out he was a criminal. He trapped us in an alleyway, and I tried to protect her. She picked up my gun and shot him. You covered it up. Brenda knew that his father would want revenge, and getting rid of his body was the, the best way to protect her. You didn't tell anybody about Alexander's death? No, if I had called it in, then her part in this would have been made public. I, I had to protect her. I, I told you that was my job. Was it your job to lie to me? I gave Brenda my words that no one would you ever know. You told me you never knew Brenda. When that turned out to be a lie, you lied again and said you didn't even know her very well. And then some creepy lawyer comes in and tells me you're covering up a crime for her. Tell me, Dante, what else are you hiding? What other secrets are there? I'm sorry, Lulu. I didn't want to hurt you. I did not feel like this was my secret to tell. So it's more important for you to be loyal to Brenda than to be honest with me. No, come on, come here, don't say that to me. Look, look what I had with Brenda, it was complicated, and it was in the past, and it had nothing to do with you and no, me. No, but it does, but it does. Every time I think I know you, I get another reality check. Everybody told me not to trust you, that you were gonna be like your father, a liar and a cheat, and I told myself that I knew you better, but you've proven them right. I don't know you. Yes, you do, okay? I've never, I've never lied to you about how much I love to you or how important you are in my life, okay? You mean everything that to me. That sounds so perfect. That's so great. That's, that is everything that I've ever wanted to hear. And that's what makes you so good at what you do. You are a perfect liar because you know what people want and you give it to them. And I wanted more than anything to trust you. Dad, you can't trust no, me. No, I can't trust you. I can't. I don't even know if I ever will no, be no, able to. Don't stop. touch me. Don't touch me. This is done. I can't even look in your face. 